Hello everyone, welcome to MSC videos. In this series of video lectures, we are discussing about graph theory and its application. In this session, we are going to discuss two different types of trees, rooted tree and then a binary tree. So a tree in which one vertex is distinguished from all the other vertices is called as a rooted tree. So these are the examples of a rooted tree. The main purpose of this rooted tree is, which is actually act as a starting vertex. You can start from the root tree. That's what we are calling it as a rooted tree. From the rooted tree, then we are defining a binary tree. In a binary tree, one vertex is of degree 2, which is actually a root node. All the other vertices are of degree 1 or 3. The number of vertices in a binary tree is always an odd number. This is one of the important property. Why it is odd number? One vertex is of degree 2. So a graph contains n vertices. Therefore, remaining n minus 1 vertices are there. We know that odd, odd vertices in a graph is al always even. So even plus 1, it should be an odd number. So number of vertices in a binary tree is always an odd number. So we have to identify total degree value in a graph is x, which is equal to 2 into number of edges. So number of edges in a tree is actually n minus 1. So 2 into n minus 1. So we are considering there are three types of vertices are possible. One vertex is of degree 1, another one is degree 2, another one is degree 3. Total number of vertices with degree value 1 is we are considering it as P. So P is actually pendant vertex with the degree value 1. And total number of vertices of degree value 2 is actually 1 because it is actually a root node. Total number of vertices with degree value 3 is total number of vertices is N. And then this 1 is actually indicating the degree value 2 vertex. This P is indicating degree value 1. So now we substitute in the equation 1 star p which is means that degree value is 1 and into number of vertices the degree value 1 which is p and degree value 2 and we having only one vertices there degree value 3 n minus 1 minus p and then 2 into n minus 1 is total degree value. Now we solve this equation we will get the result as so total number of pendant vertices in a binary tree is n plus 1 by 2. Please remind this total number of pendant vertices in a graph is n plus 1 by 2. Then Binary tree can be represented in different levels. So by using the formula, we can able to identify maximum level needed and minimum level needed. So maximum level needed to construct a binary tree for n vertices is n minus 1 by 2. The minimum level needed is, it is actually a seal function of log 2 of n plus 1 minus 1. So now we consider an example, n equal to 11. To, I, to represent this 11 vertices binary tree, we require at least 3 levels, minimum at least 3 levels is needed. Log 2 of 12 which must be something around 3 point something so it will be converted into 4 and uh, 3 point something minus 1 so you will get the value is 2 point something so it is a seal function so we will get the degree value is 3. To represent a binary tree with 11 vertices we require 3 levels and then if I am using a maximum number of level needed is 11 minus 1 we require at least 5 levels to represent the max so minimum number of level is 3 maximum is actually 5. This is what we are saying as a binary tree. Thanks for watching. Keep on visiting my channel.